Hmm. One. Oh, crap! Oh, crap, 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 crap! Oh, my invisibility spell wore off. Did I manage to get away? Kinda looks like it. Yeah, and what's that thing glowing? I probably know what it was, but I grabbed it and I found Oddfrid Whitelip. Gail Fenton mentioned that she was just a skull. <laughs> no matter if I return the skull to Gail, he should drop my reward. Um, one thing that's very different from sort of old Norse mythologies. Uh, this, what's his name? Um, Gaelid, and he was a seer apparently, and you know the uh, the Skull tribe had a shaman, and they're both men. I find that 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 part is definitely not inspired by sort of Norse things because. Uh, the Vikings, the sort of ancient N Norse uh, people, the peoples of the Scandinavia in uh, ancient times, they believe in magic, all right, but they believed that it was sort of the province of women. It just wasn't a manly thing to do, to to, to dabble in magic. So it was, you know, um, they believed in it and all that, but you know, men shouldn't waste time and energy uh, on that, basically. So, um, that was... It was to some extent okay for, for women to do it, although, you know... Uh, there was both sort of respect and fear and some sort of, some disgust with the these uh, witches, I guess. That, um, but the ancient Scandinavians believed in. This place is still really torn down. Do you want something from me? You return. The fact you're not carrying a white cloak for help needs to believe the blue sugar poison is still at large. Please hurry. Blah, blah, blah. Armory, that's where I'm going, isn't it? Sorry about the, that horribly blinding light at the load, load screen. I really don't like that. It's one of the few things of this wonderful overhaul mod that I really don't like. Okay, uh, what I do like is the way my pacifist looks a lot more pacifistic uh, in a robe compared to in that armor. She looks like, yeah, this is more something that she'd wear. And yeah, she's got uh, some bits of armor here, here and there to protect her, but basically she's robed. I like that. So, Zeno Faustus. I've got nothing more to say. Well, how about we do some business? What will we do without the captain here? This is terrible. Something must be done. What if those creatures come back? Oh well, um, you can repair things, I guess. Yeah, then again, so can I. Or maybe not. Did I use up all my... Yeah, I've only got one gentleman's armor's... Gentleman's armor's hammer. My gosh, that's lots to say as well. Um, so maybe I will... I don't... may need those little boots of blinding speed, so I will actually... The expensive stuff like the glass, the curious stuff, and I'm hoping to recoup some of my, ma of my money. By selling you some of this dwarven stuff. Oh, and yeah, steel dagger as well. Sure, why not? And yeah, <laughs> some bolts. And, um, it's actually illegal to sell <laughs> dwarven stuff, because it's sort of the property of the Empire, but it seems an Imperial, uh, armor is willing to buy it. They're all corrupt, I guess. 
Okay, I'm not selling you these wolf and bear things because they're actually uh, Nord, and I'm going to return that to the Nords instead. Anything else I should be selling? Guess you don't buy stuff like uh, alchemy ingredients. No, of course not. Or precious stones. No, we get a cost. Potions? Would you buy that? Would you buy brandy? No. And then probably not unenchanted rings either. No. Fine! I carry it out. What I could try and sell you would be this short bow. And the arrows, because uh, my character really is not very good at um, shooting things, I guess. The marksman skill is really low, yeah, and the bold one arrows are heavy as well. Another reason to sell them. Um, Getting a pretty crappy price here. This stuff is worth more than I'm getting for it. That's for sure. Uh, it's just I may need to work on my marksman. So, and a short bow is quite light. So why not? I'll try and carry that stuff around. up a little bit. Let's move push now. No! Got it easily for that. Maybe my barter skill is better than I thought. I've got speech craft, but uh, what's my mercantile skill? Almost 30, so right, it's better than I thought, but it's not fantastically great. Oh well, um, okay, I really need someone to rest a bit. Um, but it's illegal to do it here. So, um, where to now? I could go to... I suppose I should try and finish up on the quest that I started and return to this gay little guy. It's a, it's a long trek though. Um, but there's some nice music to accompany it, so I really hope I can find somewhere where I can rest without getting attacked. Just With all the assassins that are attacking me, I don't really like resting in the civilized areas either. Oh, look! Weather really has cleared now. Much better clear blue skies. Brilliant. This is going to be uh, a good looking little trek through Salt's Town to the south of it. This isn't as, it's not even as cold in here. You can see there's no snow. Um, I like the, the way that they promised us that the snow will really be falling and then lying down in the garum and then sort of melting away rather than like in here when some areas are just snowy sort of by default and others aren't. Okay, I'm closing down Raven Rock. I am a Raven Rock actually. <laughs> So close to Raven Rock that I didn't get attacked by some freaking berserker or something. 
Well, I went invisible when I shook him. It's not up there, that's just a mountain top, right? Cliff top. Yeah, and I've been up there before, even. There's a wolf down there, though, so I better stick there a bit. And that's the Blood Skull Burrow, that is. Uh, so, northwest. Unfortunately, there's always things north of me. Animals and whatnot. That's not an animal, that's something that shouted in human or semi human language. Ha! Was there across something? Oops! That scared it of the mumblings dwelling. And we head inside. Avoid pursuit. Can't rest in here. They've taken my Artfred. My sweet dear Artfred. Well, I've got news for you. Pacifist, you've returned. And you've found Artfred. Yes, I know, Artfred is a skull. <laughs> she was a skull when I first found her, but she does talk to me. I hear her voice inside my head. I would have told you the truth, but... But I didn't want you to think I was crazy, so tell me, Philip, you know, do you want me to tell your future? I'm um, sure you can tell my future. Pacifist, the skull of Alfred Whitelip is speaking to me, telling me your future. She says, she says, the time for the hunt is near. You're both hunter and hunted. She sees you surrounded by ice. Beware betrayal. Alfred sees... She is a giant, and yes, the horned huntsman. That is all. I'm not sure what it all means, but Alfred has nothing more to say. Right. That's interesting. Give it to you for it. For it. Yeah. Hunter and hunted and surrounded by ice, something giant and horned huntsman. You know, this person in sort of ancient Scandinavia would be seen as, you know, well, he's living all on his own, so maybe he is kind of a widow, but they'd see him as, uh, Alfred tells very strange. Secret thing. That would be acceptable for a woman to do this. Women would, were, were uh, famous fortune tellers, but, um, secret thing. men really, uh, not expected to, to be able to tell that sort of thing. In fact, uh, they believe that it was a lot better for a man not to be able to tell tell uh, his or her future because it just, you know, can make you all fatalistic. And who would really want to know when they are about to die anyway? And uh, stuff like that, you know. So, um, no, actually, I've got no business around here whatsoever. How are I? Just mosing around like more or less with that purpose. Um confidence dwelling was somewhere in there. It'd probably be quicker and easier to just uh pop back to Fort Frostmoth. Yeah, here I am. Imperial Cult Shrine. Oh still my head northeast. I do think Coal Venus Dwelling was somewhere on the river, like up there. What's that? I need to get out of the area immediately and close to the fort. So it won't be illegal to actually strike camp like here, for example. We can try it. And of course, we get attacked by a wolf, but, um,. Maybe I'll be able to outrun it. Our oh, wolves are really fast and uh, and blood moon just as they are in oblivion. They're kind of hard to outrun. And they can sort of sniff you out, so they're hard to uh, avoid with hide spells as well. Although it can be done certainly, but I do seem to be slightly faster than them, so I'm not going to bother stopping to fight them, especially since there's all sorts of other things around here that I'd rather not fight. They're almost keeping pace though. 